part one. This will help you figure out the number of moles that are in your iodine solution because you're going to know how many moles are in the ascorbic acid. Okay, ascorbic acid. You can fold over a piece of paper. This is a great technique. Put that in the balance and re zero it so you can know exactly that it's zero. Okay, and then you're going to weigh out 30 milligrams of the ascorbic acid. 0 0.03 grams. Folded well, paper is a nice way to go, but if you spill anything, please get the little brush, sweep it off onto the counter, and then you can brush that into a trash. Please clean up. Thank you. For your conditions, and you can raise and lower it here, you can raise and lower it here. You might keep it running off to the side. There's lots of controls, tighten it here, and then the control here. You can lower it down. Lots of different ways to use your setup. One hundred uh, fifty to one hundred mils. Put that in. And this is what you're going to use in the burette. In you need to get it rinsed first, so you can always take that and discard it into the sink, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. And you can run some through the tip. Do that a couple of times. And the lab, the other video we showed, you can roll it around. Well, one, two, seven, two, three. If it's not coming out, you can just shake it a little bit and that will come out. Close it. And we will be ready. It's in the burette and a known vitamin C solution. I know how many moles I have in here. I weighed out 28.1 milligrams. Now I'm going to add some 1% starch that will be used as the indicator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, somewhere in there. So this is about a milliliter. That's around 10 drops. Okay. Um, it's not critical that you get the exact amount. You just need 6 to 10 to 12 drops of it. Now what we're going to start doing, we're going to make sure that's all mixed in there. You need lots and lots of mixing and swirling to do this. I've got it started at um, zero, and I'm just going to keep I'm going to drip some in there. Now you can see um, there's a little bit of color that forms in there, but when I swirl it, it goes away. If the titration is hard to see the color, you can go ahead and put a little piece of white paper in there. I think the glare is bad in the video for this, but it really helps me to see uh, what is going on. Super close now. I should be really careful on my drops. And drop. Ooh, almost there. One more drop. Okay. One more drop. Perfect. One drop, and it's turned. Not sure which eight is easier to see. Try to get like that some different ways. There's a nice uh, light blue color. That's a good end point right there. And you go up and you make a measurement on your burette. You can see how much is there. Faint blue color. Right. 
the end. We now have equal moles of iodine and vitamin C that are in there. The end of the titration. The titration has been completed.